Thinking about buying a franchise? Then the How to Buy a Franchise show is just for you. Here's your host, Dr. John Hayes. So let's talk about fast signs. What's the business like today? It's, you know, it started out as a little tiny business in Dallas, and boom, what is it today? How I big? Where's it? Where's it headed? Well, it, we're at over 615 locations in nine countries and growing on an amazing trajectory. Uh, and really on two different tracks. One is making sure each and every one of our locations is growing in profitable sales volume. That's the most important. It's all about unit level economics, as you know. If franchisees cannot make a good earned living, if they can't make a good return on investment, it's not right for them. So that's our number one focus and we're having very strong growth in comp sales and average unit volume. The second area is growing the number of locations. Uh, we've already sold close to 40 franchises this year in the U.S. and Canada. We expect that we'll close, open more than 60 in the U.S. and Canada, and we're continuing to focus on international expansion. We're talking right now to a group for Latin America, looking at four or five countries down there, a group from Pakistan, uh, a group in Norway and Sweden. So we continue to look for qualified master licensees throughout the world, and then franchising direct in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. And why do you think, what's the overriding reason for buying a Fast Signs? Why, why Fast Signs? Well, Fast Signs is a value-added franchise where you're going to be working with owners and managers of small to mid-sized businesses and managers in larger companies. It's a business-to-business -business franchise, and what that means is it's open five days a week instead of seven. You've got business-to-business -business hours, so eight to five or nine to six. Great lifestyle low staffing model, so you don't have the headaches of hundreds of employees and great margins. You get to work with business people, you're making an impact on their businesses with signage and visual graphics that helps them inform, direct and sell, get more customers, sell more to existing customers, communicate their culture to their employees and customers. So very powerful, rewarding business, great business to business hours, great customers, not the general consumer. So it's a great lifestyle business in addition to having great returns. And business to business is one of the best types of businesses to get into for lots of reasons, but it's also one of the fastest growing. And it's one that because businesses are expanding, they need certain kinds of services such as signage. So a fast signs would make sense from that perspective as well. So the um, you, you emphasize making sure that the unit economics are on the mark so that a franchisee can make money. This is so important. And many franchisors don't discuss that aspect. You know, not all franchise companies are created equally. Some franchisors are better than others, as I've said many times. So here is one where the CEO is saying it's extremely important that we make sure franchisees can make money. So how do you do that? What, what do you have to tackle to, to get at that information? Well, I'm going to just say one more thing about us. We're one of only about 5% of all franchises in the United States that make a financial performance representation in item 19 of the franchise disclosure document all the way down to franchisees net profit. We do that because every year we do a financial performance a financial benchmark survey where we get the financial statements from our franchisees, we crunch the numbers and we share the results with candidates. Now, few of our competitors do that. Usually they talk about sales volume. They talk about one or two key performance indicators, but they don't go all the way down to the bottom line. We do that because we want to be transparent and we want you to know realistically that you can make a good living course with any financial performance representation it's based on it's not a guarantee it's based on your actual actions and how well you manage the franchise but we're using actual numbers from our annual financial benchmark survey so that's important so what do we yeah. do we focus on teaching franchisees how to sell higher margin products and services we help them source the equipment, the services, and the supplies they need to do that. We help them with outstanding marketing that builds a perception of a brand that's value-oriented. We teach them and their outside salespeople how to sell a consultative selling model that gets involved with customers earlier in the process. So it's not about price, it's about bringing value. We spend a lot of time negotiating with vendors to lower the ceiling price on products and services our franchisees buy. Um, we're always looking at franchisees' financial statements and giving them input on how to implement the best practices of the profit leaders so that everybody can get the same kinds of profitability 
as our top quartile does. So it's a constant focus. We as a company have four key strategic objectives and any one of my 100 plus corporate employees can tell you what they are at the drop of a hat. And the number one and the first is increase franchisee profitability. We have certain metrics we want to accomplish every five years, but that's the most important. And then when you have great margins, then it's increase average unit volume. But everybody who works for me, all 100 plus folks, folks know that that's the most important thing. And that is so important in franchising. And, and I that came across to me when we published the Fast Signs Business Opportunity Booklet and so many of your franchisees reviewed not only the book, but they reviewed Fast Signs at Amazon.com. And I was so impressed time after time after time at how many franchisees are talking about the value of the business, how much they enjoy the business, and the kind of money that they make out of the business. So congratulations to Fast Signs that they spend that kind of time on making sure that franchisees make money. Because some franchisors don't do that, and for various reasons. Maybe they don't know how to, or maybe they don't want to, for whatever the reasons might be. But that's beside the point. You folks, focus on it. Thank you for listening to How to Buy a Franchise Show. If you want immediate assistance, visit howtobuyafranchise.com to contact Dr. John Hayes for a free consultation.